you doing okay? You doing okay? Are you doing okay? The reason I asked, sir, is because you're parked next to a business facing this way. They, usually people do robberies when they park right here, in my experience. So I'm just asking, are you doing okay? Court, the court of public opinion matters, right? To all of us. So it's gonna be fun, guys. You ready? You guys ready for a good ride? Sure. It's gonna be a blast. I'm driving, by the way. I usually, once I know the city a little better, once I know the city, all right, and once I know how to use the MDC, I, I will not. Uh, not that I don't like to tell you, he's a great guy. Larry's <laughs> he's a great guy, but I like to work the trope by myself, uh, unless I have a community member on a ride along. Because when you take a community member on a ride along, it's an eye opener for them. Sometimes people don't understand because they're home and they're, they're home safe in their beds, right? Which you all see every night. And sometimes they don't get to see the excellence, but sometimes the only thing that makes them use is when we do what? Mess up. But the tens of thousands of times that we're doing the right things for the right reason with nobody looking, does that ever make the news? There. And so it's important to bring people out so they can see the excellence of policing, not just in Houston, but across this country. It's the best generation of cops in the history of policing. Any other questions before I let you all go? Cap, you have anything? Chief, let me just say this on that. Thank you for choosing Northeast. Um, this is the biggest substation of the 15 that we have in the city, as you probably already know. In this week's Crime of the Week, Crime Stoppers and the El Paso Police Department are asking for help in finding a robbery suspect. On Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, El Paso Police responded to a robbery at the Family Dollar Store located at 5018 Alameda. The officers learned from the witnesses that just before 9.40 p.m., the suspect walked into the store and approached the counter. The suspect demanded money from the store, and the store employee believed the suspect was armed. The suspect fled with an undisclosed amount of cash. According to witnesses, the suspect ran westbound on Alameda. The man is in his late 20s or early 30s, has a dark complexion, is thin, and approximately 5 feet 10 inches in height. Anyone with any information on this robbery should call Crime Stoppers of El Paso immediately at 566-8477. That's 566-TIPS. We need to quickly define the meaning of one phrase you'll see throughout the Texas Penal Code robbery offenses. According to the Penal Code, the phrase, in the course of committing theft, refers to conduct occurring, in the attempt to commit theft, during the commission of the theft, or in the immediate flight after the commission of the theft. So basically, the penal code establishes you are responsible for your conduct leading up to, during, and after any act of robbing someone. This is especially true if the conduct you commit either before or right after you rob someone serves to enhance the offense, such as causing someone serious bodily injury or using a deadly weapon. The, uh, the problem is citywide. Right. And, and you know, I, I know, uh, you know, we, we, we actually had uh, uh, a couple of months ago, we actually mm -hmm. talked about a new uh, city ordinance uh, that uh, to try to address uh, not only the beer runs, but just the safety in general at the convenience stores. Because a lot of times the, the, these, uh, these thefts uh, occur at convenience stores and certain type of convenience stores, right? Correct. Um, last In December, a convenience store uh, ordinance was passed in which it entails a uh, the convenience stores are now having to help us combat this problem. And the way they're doing that is uh, we're going to be implementing a training program for their employees, as well as uh, surveillance systems, height markers, uh, visibility requirements, in which uh, if an officer is driving by a, a convenience store, he, can, he should be able to look inside and look at the, the clerk to make sure they're okay. Yeah, and, and that makes a lot of sense because unfortunately sometimes you know, just for the merchandising purposes, uh, windows are blocked, and so that sometimes may may attract somebody, or the, or they feel that they might be able to conceal themselves a little bit and and and, and commit something. So again, just and and all of this uh, is is just trying to add to the safety uh, for the employees there, the visitors that go to uh, to these stores, and mm -hmm. and it also helps us quite a bit because an officer, like you're saying, uh, their commander driving by can make sure that everything is is looking okay there at. The, Correct, order. and also this ordinance is, uh, we're looking at saving officers time. Uh, an officer responding to these kinds of calls uh, has taken, taken into account his travel time, taking the 
the report for an officer that amounts to about an hour and 49 minutes and then the detective side when they get the case they also have to go look for evidence put out emails uh, look for offenders so that for a detective that was about three hours and three and a half hours of time that could be used on another case all right absolutely commander and you know what one of the other uh, c cases you were you were mentioning or a type of uh, crime and i know we we do see it of course throughout the throughout the city but that was uh burglary of vehicles and uh what, what do we see a lot of times with those burglary of vehicles? a lot of times burglary of vehicles uh the vehicle's unlocked so one thing if you want to prevent yourself from getting being a victim of this type, type of crime is one lock your vehicle take your valuables inside with you if you can hi you doing okay you doing okay are you doing okay the reason I asked, sir, is because you're parked next to a business facing this way. They, usually people do robberies when they park right here, in my experience. So I'm just asking, are you doing okay? Okay. Wonderful day, sir. It was good talking to you.